Hey, do you, oh, are you enjoying it? Absolutely beautiful. I'm taking me, do you? What do you reckon? Well, we <laughs> the last three sessions I've been working with you guys. With you. Una. <laughs> with uh, Una Devlin. And we've been working together to help bring your ideas for this exhibition to life. And so far you've come up with an idea, a fantastic idea to build the wagon. Front of a wagon here in the Myth Stories Museum. So the plan is, is to fill this space with a large wagon front which you can go through some mm. large green sheets into the inside and watch and hear the number of stories which have been collected. So it's about creating an experience to, uh, and uh, a place to experience these stories. When we started the project, we needed an artist to help us, see? So uh, we advertised on Alice's website and, that, and interviews with four artists. We ch chose the Tom, Tom and the... Uh, Ula, because they impress us the most. They researched things about it that like all the others didn't. They even made us a miniature version of a little wagon. Maggie and her daughter Jasmine knows how to paint the wagon in the traditional way. They helped us paint the wagon by cutting out templates and showing us how to paint in the proper colours and using the authentic techniques. We've got another three sessions and at the moment, we're at the stage where all the pieces are coming together, and in these last three sessions, it will all suddenly go like that. So, at the moment, it doesn't look like there's much going on, but everyone's working really hard. You've been making your rugs, you've been painting the, uh, the uh, front of the wagon. We're getting these backs up, to put at the back there, which are gonna be painted with a, a, a sort of trunk. We're gonna take this, well, you're gonna take this, and then you're gonna stretch canvas over it, so that it's, a canvas flat, right. which will go into the back, and then I'm going to take these away, yeah. and we're going to paint, draw a design on them, which yeah. we'll then bring back next week, and you guys will paint. Right. So you'll be doing the painting. This I'll just simply draw the design. So it'll look like the like you're able to walk back into the caravan, oh. into the wagon. Hello, I'm the cameraman doing an interview here with Una who is now gluing the corners on. Would you like a glimpse of her gluing the corners on? Yes! Here you go. There you go. We zoom in and we can get a, just a little glimpse of her with the corners and the hammer. There's the hammer. And there's the corner. Okay. Are you enjoying making this wagon? I'm enjoying making this wagon. It's been a really good. It's been really good fun. And have you, more importantly, have you enjoyed making this wagon? Yeah, I've enjoyed it. But good. this interview is with you. Is it? <laughs> I've been told. <laughs> Spotlight on. Well, what, what we are doing today is we're going to make the back panels. Now, back panels. originally we discussed the idea of making them out of wood (MDF), but we had a good think about this. I think the best way to do it is to make them out of flats made of canvas and paint the canvas to make it look like paint the canvas. Wagon. The wagon shape yeah. is going, you see where I am now, there's going to be a big wagon shape coming out the front of it, yeah. a big sort of bow, bow top wagon shape coming out here, and you're coming through a sheet, a green hemp sheet, yeah. into here, and there'll be a computer screen mounted on the wall, and it's going to be mounted behind the central panel, so you'll just see the screen, you won't see the computer or anything, it'll look like a window, and you'll be able to select the stories you can listen to, so you'll click on the stories you want, and you'll hear all the stories. I would recommend to recommend doing a very simple DVD, if you can, because uh, if it's a computer you can take a DVD, that's the simplest way to do it. Right, what we're doing here is, we're doing the two different colours, the gold, and the green, not the red. And we're filling in the cutouts, which is going down the front. And we're also going to be doing it on the rounders round here. And then once all these cutouts have been filled in, we should put the small lines on around the edge, and then the scrolls. The dragon fell on him. He's acting like a weirdo. <laughs> uncover, uncover yourself. Ah. It's me. It's not actually a dragon. It's not actually a dragon. <laughs> 